great counts as assassin models are right around the corner. Spiking bits. Welcome back, hobby maniacs. I'm Rob Bear from SpikyBits.com, and today, for the first time, <laughs> I have all of the war game exclusives. At least I think I do. Assassins underneath one roof to kind of compare and contrast them all along with their uh, Games Workshop plastic counterparts, which I think is really cool because I've had a lot of these models over the past three, four years from War Game Exclusive. They send them over to us, you know, to promo and show you guys, get you all hyped and excited about them. But I've never had them all at the same time. So I thought it would be good to kind of do a little feature showcase them give you some ideas about them because while they are cast in resin and they are more detailed than the games workshop ones which are plastic and relatively newer they're about six years old i guess they came out in execution force um you know sometimes you just want something a little different and there's nothing wrong with that these war game offering exclusives these grim skull miniature sculpts are very very well done and in a lot of cases they're sculpted, more detailed, and also cheaper than the Games Workshop versions. But ultimately, at the end of the day, well, you gotta vote with your hobby dollars which you like more. And I like these, I think these are great. I have the Games Workshop ones painted up for the past couple of years. So like I said, now I've got them all under one roof and it's time to take a look. So wargameexclusive.com is the website to check out all these offerings at. There actually is not a assassin category right here so you're gonna have to type in assassin up in the search bar above my stupid face right there and once you do it's gonna come out with whoops it's gonna come out with all of the miniatures right here the HQ assassin isn't necessarily one that you might be familiar with it's uh, the Emperor's little monster and you'll you'll see that when we show it to you but uh, it's a nice little kind of one-off figure so all the rest of them are right here and once you click on them you'll see all the details 32 mil base uh, you got all the different posing and stuff they're 1999 euros, which is really cool because, you know, uh, G dubs, I think, are $35 US now. So you're talking 15 ish less, of course, when you convert this over to dollars, which is just a straight conversion. You're talking $22, $23 plus shipping, but I think there's a free shipping option over, um, I think it's 200 euros, if I'm not mistaken, on here so you can get your friends together. Remember, there's a whole bunch of other factions over there that you can pick up too but today it's more about the assassins so they're already ahead of the curve on pricing let's take a look at the detail work too um, as we show you all of these because we got them under one roof so if you haven't ordered uh, from wargame exclusive in the past this is basically how it comes it's going to come carded on a blister uh, some of the parts are going to come in a little plastic baggie and such and then you know it's going to get laid out and you'll see there's a bunch of different parts here not necessarily a bunch of different options but just the fact that it's multiple parts means it's probably going to be more detailed because that's just kind of how it works with computer slices and stuff so we'll just take a quick look at the components before we put these together and kind of talk about them. So here's the base. It's a 32 mil round base. You'll, you'll have to trim off a little bit of flashing on the bottom. And in some cases, you're going to have to look at their site to kind of figure out how these models go together. But I've never had a problem with that. They generally go together very well. They have uh, like socketed arms. Like right here is the sidearm of the Imperial Destroyer, uh, which is, you know, their version of the Eversor, the not Eversor, so to speak. And there you go. You can see there's a ton of detail work. Pouches, little leather straps. Uh, maybe a little exposed skin because what well, you know maybe it gets a little hot as when you're an assassin you could always paint it as that that uh, stealth uh, synth suit I think they call it where it's like a body forming kind of invulnerable save type deal but you, you know whatever you want to do here you can definitely do it can be as classy as you want or as crazy as you want I suppose uh, now when it comes to detail sometimes people complain hey there's too much detail in this miniature you can make it however you can paint it however uh, intricately you can crack out you can be like I'm gonna paint every little leather strap and blah 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 use contrast to your advantage there's no you know there's nothing wrong with using a little brown contrast right here on the straps and just be done with it or whatever you know like there's a difference between finished and done a lot of my projects are finished not necessarily done I can always come back and tighten them up and finish them um, or you know so it's just like you know Money, skill, or time, we're all very busy people. And at the end of the day, having air quotes too much detail or not enough detail isn't necessarily a bad thing as long as you're getting the miniature you want. And I think this is a great mix of both scenarios right here, all the stuff they offer. 
And then of course, you know, you got the arms and like, like I said, there's the little socket right there. Well, that's going to go into the other side, but you know what I mean? Um, so there's the socket and let me just lock it in right there and you can elevate it to any firing position you want. There's the socket for the base and I actually don't know where this goes because I didn't look, but we will figure it out. It can't be that hard. Let's be real. So, you know, lots and lots of details here. There's that head, which you can also buy separate as we just discovered looking over at their site. So everything's very well done, very well detailed. I mean, crazy amounts of detail on there. I got the Predator scope on the back right there. Um, the crazy claw arm. I don't know what this is. I forget what this goes, maybe on the back or something. Got the close combat knife, the pistol, all the accoutrements you need to go hunting the foes of the Imperium slash Emperor. Okay, so now that we've got all that out of the way, let's take a look at some of the miniatures themselves. So here's the Polymorph Assassin jumping down from the top rope on some uh, arm. Well, I guess it's like more like a ruins here with some skulls and everything. Looks great, right? Definitely very cool, very dynamic. Uh, it's got the right size base. You know, it compares. Whoops. Now remember, this is a lady version. Well, I guess the Calidus is a is a lady anyway. So the not Calidus version, the Polymorph, you know, is the appropriately right size. You can make a nice little diorama or something like that as far as that goes. Now compared to the Games Workshop plastic version right here, you will definitely notice it's, you know, very similar jumping down off a of thing. It's way more detailed for sure. The top knot doesn't go like way up in the air. It's uh, kind of like a, a pigtail kind of, but ponytail length, kind of a double helix type deal. But also, you know, everything else is pretty much way more well detailed. I think GW has the styling down as far as it comes to like the suits and things. But when you come to detail and look at all that in here, I, I don't think there's, I don't think there's any comparison when it comes to that. Uh, this is the blank assassin we showed you in the image overview. So it's the not Caluxus or the Psyker one, which seems to be taking 8th edition by storm, I'm sure, with the new edition uh, coming out. The Psychic Awakening will definitely be a major factor as well. Got the Psych Out grenades right there and everything. Now, how does it compare to uh, the GW one? Well, it's about the same height. The heads are roughly the same. Uh, you can definitely tell this one is a lady. But like I said, G-Dub's got that styling, that smooth kind of bodysuit, whereas, you know, you got more leather straps and things. Uh, for the war game exclusive one over here. So it really just kind of comes down to personal preference or you know Maybe you're tired of seeing this one. So hey, this one works uh, just fine, which I think is a, a great idea Sure shot assassin kind of doing some surveying and things kind of starting to check it out with some uh, Receiving some priority orders. See what I did there require re Emperor request the asset type deal requisitional asset got a really really crazy looking whoops oh well i just broke her hand off <laughs> rifle right there and got the backdrop as well now how does that compare to the vindicare well let's take a look so here's the vindicare assassin now normally the one that comes from games workshop has a bit of a uh, ruined uh, terrain piece backdrop as well didn't opt to paint that uh, because i didn't actually just wanted to paint, paint this up really quick uh, we did this one on stream uh, in a traditional kind of lighter gray as opposed to the bluer gray is right there. And so sometimes, you know, you just don't want the extra terrain and the extra features to paint and that's okay. And that's kind of what I opted for right here. Whereas with the Wargame exclusive one, you're going to have uh, a lot more detail work to paint uh, as far as that goes, which isn't a bad thing like we talked about. Uh, but you don't have to be as intricate as you want. You know, you can just paint it up stone, hit that with some metals and you're good to go. Really, it's just about having the figure itself. So scale wise, Everything's looking good here as well. And then we've got the Destroyer. I think it's called Destroyer. Yeah, so is it? Maybe it's, uh, yes, it's Destroyer. That's right. So this is the not Evasaur that we just showed you. We put it all together. It's got this really epic kind of pose hopping over some uh, some terrain right here with the Predator laser, little pew pew pistol. And there, that was a shoulder pad. I didn't realize that. And uh, the blade to get drawn back there. Great looking miniature, very well detailed. It isn't quite as dynamic as the Games Workshop one that you can see right here, this Evasaur. Um, it is about the same, you know, height wise and things like that. It's a little bit smaller anatomically because, well, it is a lady miniature. So again, great looking take, great well designed take 
on a classic right there and it gives you some good options for kind of like accounts as type deal and last but certainly not least is the fifth which is the hq assassin which is uh, daddy's or <laughs> the emperor's little monster right here and if well if you don't know i'm, I'm talking about harlequin so <laughs> or harley quinn but either way uh it's just a great miniature it's a little bit smaller you know uh stature wise than you would expect you know if you compared it up to say like a primaris or something like that but you can pretty much use it as a lot of different things out there which i think is kind of the appeal for the counts as with a conversion type aspect i mean it's got uh she's got a little pistol here a close combat weapon and lots and lots of uh well mystery and sass a little bit of sass but who doesn't like a little bit of sass in their miniatures right there so great looking stuff all the way around from war game exclusive like i said haven't had the opportunity to have all of these under one roof well pretty much like ever so i thought it'd be a neat little feature to kind of show you and give you some ideas for maybe what assassins you would want to add counts as wise uh, to your army because well 40k is in a golden age, I feel like, and if you're looking for some alternate miniatures, you definitely want to check out WarGameExclusive.com for all the great looking stuff and some stuff that you've never even seen, like the Emperor's Little Monster right here as well. So that's it for this one. Thank you very much for watching our video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can be the very first to like and comment on all our videos.